Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in today's video, we are talking about my February weight loss recap. This series is where I document in a vlog style format the ups and downs, the ins and outs, and the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get started, I would ask that you subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet, me. And give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and leave a comment. I say hi back. So without any further ado, let's get into this month's recap. So before I start showing you what happened in February, if you watch the January weight loss recap, I would ask that you watch that first. I will link it up in the cards up above for you. I messed up with how I recorded footage. So I basically, I got the new phone, the new iPhone 11, and I decided to shoot in 4K on my phone, not realizing that would mess up rendering stuff in the editing process. So I had to scrap a lot of the footage because it, it was like taking literally forever. I couldn't even edit any of the footage. So the beginning of February is just shot it's like out the window, it's not usable, um, unfortunately, but it is what it is. I can't do anything about it, but we move. We're still going to go forward. So I'm just going to show you guys the end of February to mid to end of February, but I want to talk about of what I weighed at the end of, well, I want to talk about the amount of weight that I started um, first just so we can have that kind of clear and then we'll jump into the um, recap of what February was really like. Um, at least the later half of the month. I'm sorry about that guys. Um, I feel a little sad about it too but you know it's okay. We're just gonna keep moving and kind of go from there. So I finished, I started the month at 202.6 or 0.4. I can't exactly remember like the point, but yeah, I was 202 point something and that's it. <laughs> so let's just jump into the February weight loss recap. So <laughs> I had to completely scratch the beginning of February's weight loss recap video because it was filmed in 4K on my phone instead of 1080p. So unfortunately, you guys are not gonna be able to see the first half of this video, but I, as well as you didn't see the last half of January, which is annoying, but we still move. I've been going to the gym consistently four times a week and eating relatively healthy 90% um, of the time. Yeah. So expect to see normal stuff again soon.
guys. So because of the issues that have gone on with the beginning of February, as well as the end of January's footage being recorded in 4K and me having issues editing it in Premiere Pro, I decided to completely scrap the end of January and the beginning of February. But um, so now we should be on regular scheduled programming. So we should be fine now. But I did wanted to I did want to inform you that I last weekend I said that I was 201.2 and no, I think no, the first week in February um I got down to 201.6 and then I feel like I just maintained for the longest time. And then last weekend I was 201.2. So that was like the second week of February. And now that we're in the third week of February, I will be letting you guys know what my weight is at the end of this week because it's currently Wednesday. Um, I went to the gym on Monday and Tuesday. I did not go to the gym this morning, but I will go to the gym tomorrow morning as well as Friday morning and then do a weigh-in, check-in with you guys on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I... Well, I think over the weekends, I like haven't really been eating like consistently. I've just been pretty busy the past two weekends of February, the first two weekends of February. So it wasn't like a breakfast, lunch, dinner type of thing. It was kind of like eat when I can because um, I was meeting with people. I was hanging out with people, doing a lot of one on ones. So I wasn't really focused on like eating the healthiest. I mean, I kind of was, but also I wasn't eating consistently. So I think that also attributed to the fact that like, I just kind of maintained because the first two weeks of February were pretty crazy, but I did work out four times a week, the first two weeks of February. Um, and yeah, we'll continue doing that. So I'm kind of feeling like this year, because my schedule has kind of changed with work and everything, I am going to consistently going to the gym four times a week and so I feel like it's going to be a better weight loss and for this year in terms of like the amount of weight that I'll lose so yeah I'm very very excited about that um I am trying to think of other things I don't know, lately I've kind of been thinking like, oh, I should give up, but then I um, will weigh myself at the weekend and I'm like, you know, I'm so close to being in the hundreds, like having a one in front of like my numbers on the scale and I'm very excited for that. But I still have moments of just like, you know, I still don't feel good or I'll look at pictures of myself and still feel fat and insecure and not good about myself but then I think I've come so far and I still have like a ways to go um in this weight loss journey so I'm just trying not to be discouraged by that but it it is I feel like it is hard um and I have these moments of and like where I'm just thinking like oh I just want to give up and and not do this anymore. I feel like this is as far as I can go. And I don't, I feel like I don't share that a lot with you guys, but I should. <laughs> um, but I've been, I feel it like, you know, a couple times a month where I'm just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to give up. I feel like it's not working, especially when I feel like I'm maintaining. When I'm consistently losing weight, I feel fine. But like when I'm maintaining is when I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do this. And there are other times when I'm just like, you know, I kind of want to sabotage myself and just eat a burger every single day and a pizza every single day and like a burrito every single day and not eat healthy and not go to the gym. I just like don't want to do this anymore. But I like the reason why I feel like I have to I'm trying to get back to like my why um, right now. Like I always not right now, but I feel like I always have to remind myself every month of what my why is, which is like not to just look a certain way aesthetically, but I want to be healthy both on the inside and the outside. I want to be able to do activities that 
like I haven't been able to do before and like maintain that way and I want to get like physically fit and physically strong and and not get like winded and I mean yeah a part of it is as well like I don't want to be having to go to a store and be the biggest size there like I didn't feel good at that um and I'm not that anymore but it's just kind of like my journey is just like slow it's not fast and I knew I wanted it to be slow because I'd consistently it would be a lot harder for me to gain all that weight back because I feel like the faster you lose weight the faster you can gain it and I'd rather lose it slowly and gain it back slowly because then if I notice that I'm gaining it back I know exactly what I need to do and plus I'm consistently putting in you know things in my body that are healthy but I'm also you know putting other things in my body that are not healthy but I feel like this year I'm getting to a point of you know it is just balance I have to be gentle with myself in this journey it truly is a journey and I feel like I forget that at times for myself I feel like I'm trying to run a a race against the clock and it's just like I'm not competing with anybody I'm simply on a journey by myself you know not really by myself because you guys are with me but I'm on this journey to be the healthiest version of myself that I can be and that's my why you know and I feel like it doesn't have to be this super deep reason it can be for aesthetic reasons if you want it to be and partial of my why is that too like I do want to look good and feel good um, in my body and like looking good for myself, not for others and feeling good for myself and not for others. I feel like that's like the most important thing um, to kind of take away from this for me is that like it is for me and I'm doing this all for me. I'm not doing this for anybody else. And just sometimes it's just kind of hard because I feel like I don't see the results as fast as other people. And because I live in my body every single day, I'm kind of just like, doesn't feel like anything's changed. But then I have taken before pictures and then I look in the mirror and I'm like, no, I definitely do see a change. It's just not, I was just thinking it would be a little bit more drastic at this stage. And it's not that drastic. And I feel like reality is just setting in of where I'm currently at in my stage of my weight loss journey and my fitness journey and trying to accept myself where I'm currently at and also pushing myself forward. So I feel like it's kind of a hard place to be in, but it's good. And I'm glad that you guys are here with me in this journey. So I'm not like fully alone by myself in this um, and my feelings of all of this, but yeah. Anyways, I've talked for almost 10 minutes now. Um, I guess that makes up for all the lost footage (laughs) of February. But I will see you guys tomorrow morning, God's willing. And then I'll see you Friday morning. I'm so glad it's almost the end of the week. Also, next weekend, so going into March, um, I will be getting my hair done. Again, I'm very excited for that. So it will no longer be wigs. It will be braids. I'm sticking with braids, guys, because these wigs are mad annoying and give me headaches all the time. And I just can't do it anymore. I just can't and I shall not. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that's all she wrote. She's looking in my eyes. Now she no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign? Don't think about it, boy. Leave her alone. Oh, you ain't no king.
Good morning, beautiful people. I am back on the phone. Hopefully this time it goes well. <laughs> um, this week I decided I'm gonna reset type of thing. <coughs> and, ooh, and just do cardio. Um, so yeah, that's all you're gonna see. <laughs> This coming week is just cardio because I don't really feel like doing a full-blown workout. Um, not gonna lie, I had a pretty rough um, afternoon, evening yesterday, and I'm just like emotionally still processing, I guess. And um, I'm trying my best to like be a little bit more real and authentic with you guys, but. So this is me doing that. But yeah, I am just... I don't feel like working out. I don't even feel like going to work. <laughs> I feel, yeah, just like sad. Good morning, beautiful people. Um, I forgot to show <laughs> what I did at the gym today. But I just did 30 minutes on the stairs. And then I did 15 minutes on the bike. Are you telling me this is a sign? ended the month um i don't think i shared exactly what my end weight was of february but i ended the month going up actually um the last few days i ate not so great um i think i showed a little bit of that we just had like some work events <laughs> and food provided or i was just snacking more i was a little bit more stressed um february was you know, pretty stressful. I've been going through some things in my personal life. I'm a stress eater slash when I deal with things that are slightly difficult, I eat. And so I, um, I gained some weight. I got up to 204.6. Yeah, I got up to 204.6. And yeah, I'm not exactly happy with that number. But at the same time, I'm not upset with it either. I'm kind of just like, well, I made decisions and I just have to own those decisions and understand that this truly is my weight loss journey. Like I am in control of my weight and I made bad decisions thinking that it wouldn't affect my weight, but it did. And the things that I eat like affects my, my weight. And so um, I don't know if I've talked about this, but I gain weight very easily. Like, if I, like, I mean, and, and I know I've talked about how, you know, sometimes your body just needs, like, a day to process the food, so it's not really the food that you gained, but if I stay eating that food, then I will just continue gaining that weight, and then that's the weight that I am type of thing so it makes sense to why I got up to 233 235 um, in terms of like my overall weight so yeah I got up to 204.6 um, I think is what I said and it's not like the greatest news but it's it's the real part of my weight loss journey I'm not going to be perfect all the time I'm not going to be in a caloric deficit all the time i'm not going to be always going down and i feel like i've shown that throughout this weight loss journey is that it's very much a journey it's an up and down hill like battle it's an up and down battle um i sometimes do really great and then sometimes i do really poor and for me it, it a lot of the way that my my weight comes off through food like in the gym it doesn't matter if i go to the gym or not if i'm eating healthy my weight will come off, period. And so 
I have to really instill in myself healthy eating habits and which is what I want because I want to be able to eat healthy and you know be active but also be putting ingredients in my body that are going to promote my overall well-being but also the longevity and the quality of life that I desire so that is like my why and I understand that but sometimes in the moment I'm just like you know gummy bears or hot cheetos or uh, chick-fil-a or you know um like ramen pho like all of it sounds really good so i'm just gonna eat that or ice cream type of thing so i give into those and i'm trying to like have a healthier balance but it's just hard i feel like finding that right balance is hard um and maybe because i'm in the weight loss stage i should just be focusing on not trying to find a balance but like you know restricting well maybe not restricting but maybe i should be focusing on just like eating as healthy as possible instead of trying to like start balancing out like oh i could eat this amount just to maintain weight because i'm not i feel like how i'm going about things right now is like with the mentality that i'm trying to maintain and i'm not and i think i just you know subconsciously like went there and i don't need to be there that's not where i need to be is maintaining weight i I want to continue losing weight like 30 pounds is great but I still have more to lose so yeah that's that's kind of where I'm at right now um, at the at end of February going into March um, yeah so I'm just trying to get my butt into gear guys so just bear with me um, it is my weight loss journey and I'm not gonna be perfect and I think I just have to have grace for myself in that regard also, if you can tell, I literally just woke up and allergy season is real. I'm pretty stuffy and my eyes are starting to get irritated. I need to put eye drops in and take a Claritin. And yeah, I'm just really, really tired. And it's also been a really exhausting time type of thing. So I will talk to you guys in the March weight loss recap. I hope that you guys stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!